All around Pristina, hundreds of anniversary flags and pennants are fluttering in the cold February breeze. This is the flag of Kosovo, adopted in 2008 when independence was declared. The stars represent the six main ethnic groups in this republic. But even as the final party preparations are made, people here are more likely to be waving the red and black Albanian flag this weekend. We fight for the red flag and now we have the blue one. Uh, and uh, people don't, don't know what, it, what are they feeling. I feel more comfortable uh, to have the red and black flag and it, it, it doesn't mean I'm Kosovan or Albanian. It's my flag and I feel comfortable with that. Rather than being a banner under which the Kosovans can unite, it seems the national flag and its six stars serve as a persistent reminder of the ongoing differences between the ethnic groupings here. There will be no independent celebrations in the town of Gracanitsa this weekend. The people here among some 80,000 Kosovan Serbs who in 2008 found themselves on the wrong side of history. But they won't abandon the Orthodox Christian monastery nearby. Since we are determined to stay here next to this holy site, we will withstand everything they impose on us. One of Kosovo's top newspaper columnists believes even now Kosovo is still being fought over. Kosovo is seen even now as being caught in a territorial tug of war between Albania and Serbia. And both those countries, in a kind of belated imperialism, try to expand their borders into Kosovo. The self-determination movement is the third largest bloc in the Kosovan parliament. It sees no contradiction in campaigning both for stronger Kosovan independence and for eventual unification with Albania. The Kosovan flag, they say, will never be loved. You cannot make a flag with coral draw, you know, computer programs there and impose on people. It, it, it will never take a proper place in the hearts of the people. Sunday will combine poignant remembrance of those who were killed in the fight for independence with celebration of what has been achieved. But five years on and Kosovo is still working out where it is going and what it wants. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Pristina.